Alright, so next up in our list is a major pentat pentatonic scale. And I'll just demonstrate slowly like so. So essentially, you start from here, and then two tones to the right, two tones back, and then one tone to the left, then back to here, and then back to the left, and then two tones to the left here, and then another tone to the left, Back to the right, back to the left again, and then another left. Also here, I made a mis little mistake here, you do repeat this a, little few, a few more times as well. So vocally, that would be... Ah, Moving on to the minor pentatonic now, and I think you'll prefer this a lot more. It's a lot less complicated, as we're all going all in one direction on the keyboard. That is to the right, uh, which I will demonstrate now. Just starting here. And that is two tones to the right. And another tone. And another tone. And two turns now. And then one last turn. So all together that is. And vocally that is. Next in the order is the natural minor scale, and once again, this is far less complicated as it will be going simply to one side of the keyboard. To the right, that is. I will just demonstrate it slowly, just now. So, to start, that is one turn to the right. And then a semitone up to here, then two turns to the right, then another tone to the right, then a semitone, then a tone, and then two tones, and then back down. So, so vocally, that would be. Uh, Moving on now to the harmonic minor scale. No, the yes, the harmonic minor scale. Sorry, and um, uh, it is quite. It is pretty much the same as the natural minor scale, except for the fact that uh, it has one less fret note, just one. So to demonstrate, that would be. There we go. So. Starting from D, I believe it is. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's a C4, sorry. And then tone to the right. Then semitone. Two turns to the right. Another turn to the right. Semitone. And then two tones. One moment. Hmm. Let me. Th one moment. Here. Yeah. One tone and then a semi A tone and a half, then, I will say, to here. And then another tone to here. And then back down. So vocally, that would be. Ah, uh, no, shit. Sorry, sorry for the language. Vocally, that would be. 
Moving on to the last of the scales, we have a Mixolydian mode in A2. Or otherwise referred to as an A Mixolydian scale. Which I will demonstrate now. Sorry. So in all, so the movement of that is a tone to the right, starting from A2, two tones to the right, and then a semitone to the right, a tone to the right, another tone to the right, two tones to the right, and a semitone, and then back down the scale. So, let me just play it again so I know what it sounds like vocally. First up in our arpeggios is the major triad. So what this is, is where you take the first, the third, and the fifth note out of any major scale. So if I were to start here, for example, about two tones over to the right, that's number three, and then another two tones over. And then back, and then back to the start. So, fully demonstrated, that would be... Mm. And vocally, that... So, vocal, vocally, that would be... Ah, okay, moving on, our next arpeggio is a minor triad, or triad. So, this is a sec fec essentially the same as a major triad, but it's in minor it's a minor scale instead, so... You would take the first, the third, and the fifth notes out of that. So to demonstrate, I believe that would be... So start from here. Two semitones to the right. And then another two semitones to the right. And then back down. So vocally, that would be... Uh, 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 uh. Next up in our list of arpeggios, we have a major 7th. So I'm not exactly sure on the theory on this, but uh, essentially it is starting from here. You can use this as an example. Starting from here, you go two semitones to the right. No, two tones, sorry. And then another two tones. No, right, sorry, one tone. Two semitones, or two tones, sorry, I'm getting this completely wrong. And then another two tones, and then one tone, and then back down. So, in all, in complete order, that would be... My piano skills need serious work. Vocally, that would be... Uh-huh. Sorry. Uh, Alright, next up in our list we have a minor 7th? Yes, a minor 7th. So, like the major 7th, I'm not entirely sure of the theory on this one, but essentially it's the same sort of thing as the major. Um, it's a 7th, but in the minor key. So, I'll start from here. Now here. 
So you would go, you would go two semitones to the right, another two semitones, and another two semitones, and one, and one tone. Apologies, apologies. It's bit tone all the time. I know this is confusing, but anyone listening will be is smarter than I am, so they'll remember that. One tone to the right, and then back down. So all of that together, that is... Alright. And vocally, that would be... No, that's my major, sorry. Next up in our list of arpeggios, we have a dominant seventh. So, from starting from here, wait, no, here, yes, that would be B, I think. That's B, yes. B4? Yes, I'll have a guess. B4, since it's C4 right here. And then two tone, semitones from here to the right. Another two semitones, and another two semitones, and yes, you guessed it, a single semitone, a single tone. Tones, 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 and then back down the scale. No, not scale. Whatever. So, in total, that would be... Last but not least, we have our diminished seventh. So starting from here, two tones to the right, two turns to the right, two turns to the right, and one tone to the right, and back down. So in complete, in its complete form, that that would be. And vocally, that would be... Uh... 